What's going on, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be checking out Matt Sassano's brand new song, Happy Family, and his lyric video for it. All that and more, so stay tuned. All right, well, my name is Adam. I hope you're having a beautiful day. This is Sanctify Studios, where I like to create and examine content with a sanctifying biblical perspective, and I like to highlight those artists who are being intentional about creating sanctifying and biblical content. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you can do me a huge favor, and you can leave this video a thumbs up, you can hit the subscribe button, and you can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos arrive. You can go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of bands you want me to check out and react to. I react to a lot of Christian rock, a lot of Christian metal, um, a little bit of hip hop here and there, a little bit of contemporary. I am trying to get more into the contemporary stuff. I have a lot of friends who write contemporary music, so I want to make sure I showcase that. I'm definitely going to make sure I still stick to mainly Christian rock and metal stuff. It seems to be my niche. So um, I also have a band called Classic Disaster that's in that niche of Christian rock and metal. So that's mainly what I cover, but I do want to branch out and do more. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to check out. For today, though, we are going to be looking at Matt Sassano and his new song, Happy Family. Matt Sassano, he's an awesome dude. I love his music. It's from the heart. Um, so far, I haven't heard one Matt Sassano song that was not just an outpouring of what's been on his heart and mind, um, an outpouring of his testimony. Uh, so I really resonate with that, with the music that I write. I really try to make sure it's an extension of what I've gone through and what God has led me through. And I really feel like Matt Sassano does that. Like he wants every song to be an extension of his testimony, his ministry, what he feels God wants him to say. And so it's awesome to um, continue to hear him put out really great tracks. His last one that I checked out was Fuel and that was really cool. So I'm, I'm excited for this one. It's got a different kind of tone. Um, we can see there's almost this like corpse bride look um, and I don't know if this is going to be doesn't it doesn't seem like this is going to be a happy song. It seems like the mood is going to be a little bit uh, a little bit more somber. So uh, I'm excited for it. Um, if you haven't heard of Matt Sassano, make sure that uh, I don't even know if I would recommend doing it now or just after. But he he's just got some really great songs. He came out with an EP called In Defiance, and every single song on there is great. So either before you watch this with me or after. Uh, make sure you check out that EP. So let's go ahead and dive into this song. Let me see too if there's anything. Okay. So, okay. So he's saying here, if you think you might be experiencing domestic abuse of any kind, you can call 1-800-799-7233. So this, this seems like, all right, this is going to be a song about domestic abuse. And so hence the... Uh, the uh, look of the family here looking almost like the corpse bride thing. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a different tone. Let's check it out. This is happy family by Matt Sassano. Can we pull ourselves together? It's time to play. That's, that's, uh, really well written. Really, really good. We can't fix what's been broken. We're just burying the hurt. The stage is set, everybody's watching. And these walls are closing on me. Cause the truth's a ticking time bomb. We'll see fallout when it bursts. I can feel pressure building. This pain is enough to kill. Give 
Definitely an emotional song and one that I think a lot of people can relate to. Yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely deep. And, um, you know, Matt Sassano's testimony, um, he talks about how he had domestic abuse in his home and he had to suffer through that. And, you know, it's, it's not, I, I think that one of the beautiful things in Matt Sassano's writing is that there is that in his song, but he writes in such a way that whether you have dealt with the most severe kind of abuse at home or whether you feel like you've just kind of gone through struggles at home, wherever you are in that scale, you can relate to a song like this. And so it doesn't lose its impactfulness for people who have, who have seen physical abuse in the home, um, severe suffering and abuse but it brings in people who may be, you know, I, hearing this chorus is something I can relate to. I feel like anybody who's grown up in the church um, can, to some degree, relate to this song. Uh, and, it's, and it's a beautiful thing to bring people from both of those um, perspectives and spectrums of, of um, this kind of issue. The issue of putting on a face um, and hiding the, the things that need to be dealt with. Uh, those things that are hidden can be small, like an argument that you're going through with your family and you just set it aside and don't actually resolve it until later on in the week, or it can be severe and it can be, um, you know, something that's, that is a crime and damaging to your family and to, and to your loved ones. So, um, that's something that I found with Matt Sassano's music that, he, he just has a, a beautiful way of bringing those people together under a song. And, uh, and I, and I feel that with this song. Um, let me see. I didn't see if the lyrics are here. Yeah. So just want to, just want to highlight these words here. Cause it's, it's, um, really, really a well-written song in that way as well to, to just set a wide net capturing so many emotions in what's being said here. Can we pull ourselves together it's time to play our parts again. Like even just that, like we're, we're going to church, pull yourself together, put on a face, right? It's time to play our parts again to be the happy family. It's time to, uh, the stage is set. Everybody's watching, but when the curtains close, darkness haunts me when we're done putting on the act, when we're done putting on the face and now we're home, that's when the real stuff happens. Uh, look past our perfect picture and you'll see the hell that I'm in. I can feel the pressure building. I keep running from all these feelings and I know, I know it's expected of me. 
like you're expected to just set it aside when you're out in public. You can't, you can't be real because you don't want to be the one who exposes your, your parents or your family or exposes the situation again, whatever it may be, big or small. And, uh, and there's, there's shame, you know, there's shame in that you want to say something cause you want to escape it, but you don't want to say something because you're afraid it's your family. You're afraid of even what might happen to you if you do say something and, you know, and then you just default to what is expected of you. So the chorus says, smile, give them what they want to see. Smile like, like we're a happy family. Our secrets can't leave us. Misery loves company. So smile like we're a happy family. Really, really well written. Like really, really well written. Matt Sassano and Josiah have, have written a lot of really good songs together. And I'm a hook guy. Like I, I love when a hook comes in and hits you. And even though we get happy family earlier, earlier in the song and earlier in the chorus, like to, to hear it come back in that moment, you know, misery loves company. So smile, like we're a happy family just, and then boom, you get that interlude. Um, it hits, it hits and it makes you feel it and reflect and just be like, man, I don't want to do that with my family. I don't want to lie and put on a face and be deceitful in front of other people, you know? And, you know, my mom watches these videos every once in a while. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't mean to say that I've ever had an abusive household like that. Cause it's never been that way. Thank God. But, um, I think Christians in general are tempted to put on a face whenever they go to church. Like we don't have problems. I think anybody's tempted when they go to church to put on a face like you don't have problems. Sorry, I'm just kind of getting over a sickness. So I'm a little, my throat's a little dry. Might be sipping on this a little bit today. Um, but yeah, anybody, everybody's tempted to have a big argument or have something that needs to be resolved. But because we got to look, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to be a burden on other people. We don't want to make an issue. We don't want to cause a scene. Just put on your happy face and move on and just go to church. Just go through the motions don't seek counseling. Don't seek, don't seek help. Don't confess your sins. Don't, um, uh, don't confide. Don't get discipled. Like just, just put on a face, right? No, that's the opposite of what we should be doing. We should be trying to get help. We should be opening up. We should be confessing sins. We should be trying to, um, take this community that God has given us the church. And if you're hurting, or you're in a place, a broken place, you let another part of the body come in and try to help heal you. But it doesn't happen all the time. <clears throat> Verse two, we can't fix what's been broken. We're just burying the hurt. The stage is set and everybody's watching. And these walls are closing in on me because the truth's a ticking time bomb. We'll see fallout when it bursts. I can feel the pressure building. The pain is enough to kill me. And I know, I know this is all make believe. All of what's going on here is fake. The faces that we're trying to put on. <clears throat> I love how this is just conversational. Like this is just confession. Like this is how I feel. This is, this is the kind of lyrics I love. Um, there's a lot of lyrics written by bands that are metaphorical and uh kind of storytelling and world building and all that fun stuff but this is this right here like you're saying what people want to say you're, you're saying the things that people really feel and don't even know how to put into words sometimes but you're you're putting it into words for them and you're resonating with people's feelings so it's it's just a beautiful thing to to see it laid out here like that and then we have the bridge here where you're just like getting angry i i, w I really wish you almost would have parked here you know with a a little bit of an interlude, like a soft musical interlude. Make people feel it. Make people feel what's just been said. <clears throat> but um, going into that bridge, this is the last time I'm done covering up these lies. These black and blue marks getting specific, right? Like this, this isn't just an emotional thing. This is a physical thing too now. These black and blue marks. I've got nowhere to turn. I feel so trapped. All of this is fake and I'm sick of smiling. So real. Like it just is what it is, you know, 
doesn't need any metaphorical twist to it. You know, it doesn't need any, it just, it's just real and raw and, um, and deep and speaking out to something that too many people can resonate with too many people at home can resonate with this. And, and I love that there's, there's a solution too. like, it's not just putting it out there and saying, you know, Hey, do you feel this way too? Like, no, like, Hey, if you think you might be experiencing domestic abuse of any kind, get help, call 1-800-799-7233, text start to 88788 or chat live at the hotline.org. Like there's solutions, there's help there for you. There's a way out. There's a way out and there's another side. And Matt Sassano is living on the other side of it right now. And, and I hope that God is using him to encourage other people and to touch people's lives because, um, cause yeah, this is a fate that no one should live through. I, I have a son now and like, Ooh, he cries and he cries and he cries, you know, and like, it gets annoying sometimes, but like, <clears throat> I can't ever in my, in my heart have anger toward, I, I, I don't feel anger towards him at all. It's, it's like, if I ever do, I know it's going to be a heartbreaking moment. It'll be a failure on my part to allow myself to get to that point where I feel anger because he's just such a gift and such a beautiful thing. And I can't imagine any father abusing their child or their, their wife or take like trying to take advantage of someone weaker than you. It's the worst thing in the world to do. And don't be that person. <coughs> if you struggle with your anger, you get help. You make sure you handle that so that you're not a, a danger to your loved ones, so that you're not someone who's toxic and potentially life-threatening to the people around you. If you've got issues with your anger and you got issues with how you respond to controversy and, and, uh, and uh, conflict and you don't know how to play fair and you don't know how to just talk and do it without yelling and do it without fighting and do, do it without your fists, then get help, you know, talk to somebody, repent, you know, oof, yeah, happy family, Matt Sassano, dude, great job with this song, it's just, it's such a beautiful song, and the music is great, it's just, it, it perfectly, um, it perfectly uh, complemented the, the song, it really did, it was powerful when it needed to be powerful, and it sat back when it needed to sit back, really really good i'm so sorry i'm going on and off with my with my throat here but yeah really really great job really great song guys if you enjoyed that song then uh leave a comment down below and uh let us know what you think about it go over to matt's page and uh, go comment on the video let him know what you thought about it let's get this kind of a song out to more people because this is such a powerful song i think that there are people that need to know they're not alone in this even though I think it's talked about a lot now on social media that people encourage each other to not put on a face and people encourage each other not to lie. There's so many deconstruction people that grow up going to church and then they're like, yeah, my dad used to cuss and, and my parents never really believed in this anyways, or my siblings didn't really believe it anyway. So I'm not going to, there's so many people that share their testimonies of that kind of stuff. But for those of us who still believe in the truth and we still are a part of the church and we know that it's not perfect and we know the families in the church aren't perfect, um, it's nice to have a song like this that just shares and says, you know what, you're not alone. You're not alone. I've been in a family where we struggle with that. Again, to whatever degree um, you are struggling with that in your family or you're in a, in a situation where you are having to put on a face and be fake in front of other people, you're not alone in that and there is help and there are other people that you can talk to and if it's the most severe kind of stuff then then reach out and get that help so man if you enjoyed today's video then uh be sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel uh hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos arrive this these are the kind of songs i love i know it's like a really deep tough topic but at the same time it's so it's so good to make sure that you are giving yourself a reality, a reality check. Christian music is not always about just praise and worship. And, you know, and it's not about 
stuff like the world talks about where it's about getting girls and getting money and getting drunk and high and all this stuff. Like these are the real issues that people have going on in their hearts and have words to say and have things to sing about and want to share and help people know that they're not alone in. And like this, this is the kind of stuff that I love. And again, a reason why I love Matt Sassano's music. Go, if you resonated with this kind of stuff, go listen to Dear God. Go listen to Not My Name. Other songs that Matt Sassano has written that just really resonate with that same kind of tone. And uh, yeah, go check it out. All right, guys, if you, um, if you want to support my channel, one of the best ways that you can do that is by supporting my band, Classic Disaster. We put out a song two months ago called Broken System. It's been doing really well. It's one of my favorite songs, and it's the last single before we put out our EP. It's coming out soon, you guys, so go check out my band, Classic Disaster. Follow us on Spotify. Follow us on Instagram, all that fun stuff, and um, if you're a musician and you want to know how to put music out and you uh, have done your research on all the different tools, you've looked at DistroKid, you looked at CD Baby, you've looked at TuneCore, and you've made the decision like, hey, I kind of like this uh, DistroKid tool uh, for distributing your music. Uh, that is the tool that Classic Disaster has used. I'm not telling you, you have to use it. I want you to do your research. There's pros and cons to all of them. But if you decided, hey, I want to go with DistroKid, then you can visit the link down below and you can get a uh, discount on one of these prices, depending on what you want to go for. If you're a part of one band, if you're a part of two bands, or if you're a part of many bands, um, you can get a discount with the discount link below in the description. So uh, it's been really awesome to be able to only pay one price per year and release as much music as we've wanted to in the last year. It's been super awesome to be able to do that. They do have other options for you when you release songs that will cost more. But if you just want to do the bare minimum, then you just have that one cost every single year. So it's been really cool to be able to do that. If you want to do that too, um, go ahead and follow the link and it will show you how to do that. So with that, guys, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Take care.